Now to our top story tonight, Granville schools conducting blood tests for students and staff after elevated lead levels were found in the school's drinking water. Those tests are going on right now in the high school gym, and that's where we find NBC4's Rick Reitzel. Rick, how has the turnout been? Dwayne, it's unbelievable. We were just told there's about 500 test kits here. They probably have used 150 of those so far. Now, there are a lot of people here at this place. We are, we are being told 150 people have used the test kits. The problem is, is there is a two hour, two to three hour wait to get this blood test, and you can get quick results if you happen to be in here. This is what the test looks like. A prick of the finger, a sample of your blood, and within three minutes, students and staff will know if their blood lead levels are okay. So it says low. Some families say they're concerned about the lead, but supportive of the school being proactive. I think anybody uh, you know, with a family is going to be concerned when there's uh, lead found uh, in your community. And it, it was a real shock, I think, to people in Granville. I feel very comfortable with it. They've always been uh, very protective of the children in both health and their academics. So uh, I know they're, they took measures to stop, you know, the drinking. The superintendent says they moved quickly, shutting off the water fountains similar to this one in the administration building. When we received the results, obviously we weren't happy to see that there were elevated levels, um, but we quickly turned to, okay, how do we fix this issue moving forward? The high, middle, and elementary schools showing elevated lead levels are using bottled water either provided or brought from home. Licking County Health is doing the testing here at the gym with a lot of help from volunteers. This is unusual. Usually it's, you know, like I said, one small child or a couple family members that are in a, in a household. Uh, so in, in this case, it's more of a, a broad screening. Now the superintendent says the city water tested fine, but they know the elevated low, uh, lead levels rather came from inside this building. Now once again, they say there is a two to three hour wait, and they may have to set up another one of these events. Live here in Granville, Rick Reitzel, NBC4.